Last year, my parents went through a large renovation in their home. They removed some walls and changed some electrical and added some lighting up here in the main living area of their home. Now we did our best to tell the electrician exactly what we wanted, but when it was all said and done, there were a few things that weren't quite so right and some things we would have liked to change, but that would cost a lot more money for us to get a new electrician to come out and do all of that. So first, let me show you kind of what we're dealing with here. So we have 12 new can lights that were installed in this room. Uh, I have this first light switch here that controls four of those. I have another light switch that is able to control four more of those in the middle section. Over here, I have another light switch that controls the middle section. And then over here, I have the three-way, four-way switch that again controls the middle section. And I have one more switch that controls the final section of lights. And so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna use the Caseta wireless lighting system by Lutron to take control of all these lights. We'll be able to control them all from one light switch and we'll be able to have smart control over all of them. And we're also gonna show you how you can control different types of lights. So single pole, three-way, as well as the three-way, four-way, like the location we have here. And we're gonna even show you how you can control your fan. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. Now I've been using the Caseta wireless smart lighting system in my home and I've come to love it because of a few reasons. One, there's one hub that everything connects to. I think you can have 75 different devices connected. Two, you are able to connect these with pretty much all of the different smart home platforms. You can use Amazon Assistant, Google Assistant, Apple HomeKit, SmartThings, and much more. Three, the way you get these set up is so easy compared to other uh, smart light switches. There's not very much wiring you need to do. And you are also able to use these without a neutral wire, which is really, really nice. And then I love how many controls you have right on the different dimmers. So you can dim the can light super easy. Um, they have this nice on and off that's not so blinding and there's so many different options. And I also like how these work with the Serena shades. So if you wanna do smart shades or smart blinds, those also connect to this smart bridge. And I'll leave a video all about those at the end and you can check out some of those options as well. Thanks to Lutron for sending out these two different kits so that we can show off many of these different features. Here we have the dimmer kit with smart bridge. So you will need to have one bridge that will connect to all of these to control all of your devices. So this comes with a smart bridge, it comes with two Pico remotes, and it comes with two dimmers. So that's able to control quite a few devices just with this. Here is another kit, this is the lamp dimmer kit. So this is able to connect to lamps, so this would be a smart plug, and then you are able to dim the lamps if they do support that. Now this kit does come with a bridge, we actually already have one set up, so we don't need to set these up again. And there you go, so that is the lamp dimmer kit. And then here we have just a simple dimmer and remote. So this is an extra dimmer. We're gonna need quite a few today. And then we have a Pico remote. And then they also have an option where if you don't want to have a dimmer, you can just simply turn on and off a light switch or a fan. You are able to do that. And then here we do have a fan control option. So if you want to tell your fan to go to medium speed or low speed or high speed, they have an option there. I also picked up this Pico Remote wall mounting kit. This allows you to create a Pico Remote light switch anywhere, so this has all the tools that you need to get installed. Instead of buying a Pico Remote and a wall plate, everything is built into here. And so that is pretty much all the devices we will be using today, and then I'll show you how you can use these Pico Remotes and some of the extra cool things that you can do with those. So let's stop talking and get to installing. The first thing we need to do is install our smart bridge. Now to do this, you will just plug it right into your router with the included ethernet cable, plug it in, and then you're going to head into the Lutron app available on the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store to get it set up and create your account and all that stuff. And now that we have our bridge set up, the next thing we're going to do is install these in the proper location. We're gonna make sure we turn off the power, get them installed, and the first thing we're going to start with is doing it on a single pole switch. So you have one light switch, with some canned lights, and then we'll move on to a three-way and even the three-way, four-way multi-location area, and then the fan. So let's get to it. So here we have our single pole light switch that's going to control our first set of cans. And I'm going to use this voltage tester to make sure that all the power is off. 
And then we'll get to this in a minute. This is the three-way connected to the four-way and the other three-way. Now these do come with a faceplate, but since I'm using multi-switch locations, I did buy a few different ones that have two and three gangs on one. So first you just take that off, unscrew this, and then we're gonna remove the old switch and put this on. Now because I will be using two switches in here, I do need to remove uh, the three little tabs right here on one side, leave them on the other. Now that the original switch is off, we are going to attach the new one just by adding the caps. Here we have the ground, and then you have two black wires here. You're just going to attach one to one of the wires, and then the other to the other wire. All right, and just like that, this light switch is installed. So I'm gonna wait, because we're gonna replace this in a minute, and then we'll shove everything back in and get it screwed in. But let's move on to a three-way switch. So that means there's two locations. So here I can turn on and off the hallway lights. And then here I can turn them back on. Now is how this is going to work is we're going to replace one of these with the dimmer light. And then we're going to add a Pico remote to the other end. So it's essentially just using a remote to control the first light and it works really well. And it makes it easier to replace only one of the light switches. And it costs a little less too. So here in this first box, you can see that one of the screws is actually a different color. And so you do wanna tape that one off. This one already has tape on it. And then we have two other wires. We have the red and the black here. And then we do have a ground there in the back. Now for the three-way, you do have the first location and the second location. You can choose either of them to be your main switch. And then we're gonna put the Pico remote at the other end. Each switch does come with enough caps for the wires that it has. So first we're going to attach the green wire to the ground wire. Next we're going to attach the red wire to the line wire or where the power is coming from. Then we're going to attach the black wire to the load wire. And then we're going to cap off the blue wire. This will only be used if you're doing a three-way switch on the other end still. And then here we're going to put the white wire with the rest of the neutral bundle and cap everything off and double check our connections. Once that's complete, we can now install the light switch and add the faceplate. So now let's go ahead and look at the other end. And so here we have the same wires. I'm going to tape off this one that has the black screw and now remove the light switch. Now here on the switch's second location, we're just going to take all three of these wires and cap them off and make sure the ground is all on its own. And with these, I do have some bigger caps to get them on easily. All right, and then we just stick that in. And now we're going to use a wall plate bracket. So we don't actually put a switch here. We're gonna use this bracket and then add a Pico remote that's going to remote control the light switch. Here we just slide this right on the back and screw it in. Let's turn on the power and check it out. All right, now it works. Now there is one more step where we need to pair this to the hub and pair the Pico remote to the hub so they control that, but we'll do that once all of our lights are installed. Now for the multi-location switch. This is when you have three or more light switches controlling one light. So we have the one here, we have the one over there, and we have the one here. So Lutron recommends to take one of the three-way light switches and switch that over to a new Caseta dimmer and then use two Pico remotes in the other locations. Uh, using the four-way switch or the location that has four wires is a little more complicated. So first we're going to swap out the switch, which I think we're going to do right here because we already have it opened up. And then we're going to add the two Pico remotes to the other ends. So just like the last one, here we have three different wires. We do have one that is a different color, so we're going to tape that off first. Once the old switch is removed, I am now going to tie into the ground here. I'm gonna tie one of the black one into the untaped wires, and I'm going to cap another black one with the taped black wire. Your wiring colors may be different. Now because this is going next to a switch, I'm going to pop off these tabs. And now we can get them installed. It does get a bit crowded with two smart switches, so just carefully push them in until you can screw them tight. Whew. All right, got those in. Let's go put the Pico remotes on the other ends. So this one is a four-way switch. It has four wires. 
two are different colors, so we're gonna tape those off before we remove the switch. And then we're gonna take all four of those wires and cap them off together. I definitely recommend getting some bigger caps for this. And you can cap off the ground as well. Now, depending on how the connection looks, sometimes I do put some electrical tape over it just so nothing is going to arc together. And now we can press all the wires back. And here we are going to add a Pico remote and wall plate. And now to the third Pico remote for the multi-location switch. And so this does have three wires again. Now, one thing is here you can tell it's a three-way or a four-way because there is no on or off. Here you can tell it's a single pole because it does show an on and an off. And here I'm going to add a second Pico remote. Again, I'm gonna tie off these three wires for the three-way, and then I'm going to replace this with another light switch dimmer. In the back of the box, you can see the capped off wires where I'm going to place the Pico remote. And here, this is a single pole switch. And so this is going to be the same as the first switch that we installed. And now let's head into the bedroom. So here we're going to make this fan and light smart. They are on separate switches right over here. And then we are going to make the lamp smart with the outlet dimmers. And here we have the first switch that controls the fan and this one controls the light. So we will be swapping those during this process. So first we will be installing the fan control. Now you can use this if the light and the fan are on the same switch. Just sometimes you'll have some issues with the light so you might just wanna turn that off. But here, this is the best situation where we have a dedicated fan switch and then a dedicated light switch. So then make sure you tape off the load wire, which is here. And so now we're gonna remove this. And now with the fan control, you do need the neutral wire. So we'll be tying on into that as well. First, I'm going to swap the wires. Next on the fan control, we are going to use the yellow wire and tie that into our load with the tape on it. Then we are going to use the white wire and we're gonna tie that into the neutral wires. And then we're gonna tie the green into the ground wire. And the second yellow wire is a pigtail to the line, which is going to go here on the back of the fan control switch. And for the fan light, we're going to install a regular switch just like we did in the hallway. And now we're gonna put everything back together. Now, the first time I put it back together, it didn't turn on. I pulled everything off, rechecked the cables, and one of the cables came undone. So be very careful on putting your cables together. And then the last pro tip is see at the bottom, I've kind of scratched up the wall a little bit. Most of it came off, but I would recommend putting some painter's tape down there so you don't damage your wall while you are installing these. And now for the easiest install of the day, the plug and dimmers. So here you have the on and off and brightness controls. And then here you have the option for the outlet on the right or the left. The dimming actually works amazing. All of our light switches and Pico remotes are now installed. I do need to fix a faceplate for this just because it's a really small area. So let's go ahead, turn on the power, and then get these set up in the Lutron app. Now we're going to connect all of the light switches and Pico remotes to the bridge. So here we're gonna go into the Lutron app, then we're gonna select settings, and then we're going to select add device. And here we're going to do an in-wall dimmer and we just need to hold down until the lights start flashing. Here they are flashing. And this is going to be for the kitchen. And these are the main ceiling lights. Okay, it has now been connected. Now we're going to add another device, and wall dimmer, same thing. And these are going to be the dining room and main. And you can change all this later. All right, now we're gonna head over to the other room and add that. Again, we're doing an in-wall dimmer. This is going to be for the family room and main lights. Now you can see they turn off when it is adding the device and turn back on. And now we're going to add a Pico remote since we're right here. Add another, we're gonna add Pico remote, hold down again. Now you can see it's flashing. And this is going to go for the dining room. These are lights. And let's add the other Pico remote. 
And now let's go ahead and add the hallway. And this is the switch which is under the in wall dimmer. And here we have hallway and we're just gonna choose hallway. And these are ceiling lights. And now let's add the Pico. Hallway, hallway, next. These are lights. And now it's adding all of the devices into the app. And now we have control of our hallway with our Pico remote. So now I've gone through and added the switch and the fan into the bedroom. Here I added the floor lamp and now I'm going to add the table lamp. Bedroom, table lamp, and there's just one lamp. And last we are going to add all of these Pico remotes. So first we have a fan Pico remote and then we have two light Pico remotes. And here it gives you the option to change the name so you know which one you're controlling, and we are done adding devices. Now we'll need to go through and choose what we want the Pico remotes to do. So here in the master bedroom, we have the fan Pico remote, and it automatically selected the fan. So we have the option to turn it all the way on. We can adjust its speed, and then we can turn it off. And then we have the Pico lamp, so that is actually just turning off all of the lights in the room. So let's go ahead and keep that one like that. And then we have the table lamp over here and we're gonna edit the device and choose what we want it to control. So here it's controlling all the lights in the bedroom. Let's just choose uh, the table lamp and select save. And now that one just does the lamp. And now we're gonna go and link all of our devices in the Google Home app, select the plus, Setup device, works with Google, and then you're going to find Lutron and link it here. Once you have done that, all of the devices will now show up down here at the bottom, and we are going to tap on them to add them into a room and also put them into our home. After checking to see that all the switches have power, I'm now going to add the wall plates, and I really like the look of these screwless Lutron wall plates. All right, now that everything has been added into the app, here we have the option to turn on and off the lights in the kitchen. And then we have the dining room lights so we can turn those on and off easily. But the biggest thing is we want to control all of them by pressing one button. So actually right over here, I have another Pico remote that is controlling the entryway light. So if I press that now, it's going to turn off those lights and turn them back on. So is what I'm going to do is go here to the front foyer and here I have a Pico remote and I'm gonna edit the device and here I'm gonna choose what it is actually able to control. So here we're gonna choose devices and I can choose the main kitchen lights, the main dining room lights, and then I can go down here and choose the family room lights and I could even choose the hallway if I wanted to. But we're just gonna keep those lights right there. Select save. And so now we have the option to turn off all of the lights at once. <laughs> so cool! Mom, Dad, your kitchen's ready. And now we have pretty much turned all of the main light switches in the home to smart light switches through the Caseta wireless system. So now that we've done that, what can you do? Well, there's actually a lot and I'm not gonna be able to cover them all, but let me walk you through the home now and show you what can be done. So first of all, I can use the light switches just like normal. So I can push the on button and it will turn them on. If I want to adjust the brightness of that light switch, I can now just hold down on an arrow and it will adjust the brightness and I can set it to exactly the brightness that I want. Well, the problem before is I have two switches for these two different lights. Over here, I still have to use the switches for each one of those, but now because they're connected to Google Assistant, I have the option to control them both by voice. Hey, Google. Turn off kitchen lights. Sure, turning off lights. Hey, Google. Turn on kitchen lights. Okay, turning on kitchen lights. <laughs> Pretty bright there, but now it was able to change both of those light switches at once. Now remember over here, there was this one light switch and it just controlled one of them. Well now we have this Pico remote set where it's actually going to control both sets of lights. So instead of just controlling one with that Pico remote, it can control both of them. And that's actually what we ended up doing over here 
where whenever you come in through the garage, instead of it just turning on one of the lights, it can then control both of them. And with the Pico remotes, you have the option to control as many lights as you want or just a single light switch once you have it set up. Now over here, we have this set as a different room. Turn on the family room. seven things in the fan room. So we actually have a few different devices in here already where it turned on the fan and the other light, and uh, it also turned on the lights here. So there we are able to control each individual switch or different rooms at the same time. Now, since these can lights are actually dimmable, I can also set the brightness for them. Set kitchen to 50% brightness. So there you can see it dimmed those lights very easily. So that is kind of how this room works. And then we also have all kinds of option in the Lutron app where we can set up different scenes and routines. So they automatically turn on at sunset or all automatically turn off at 10 PM. So we don't have to keep coming in here and turning on and off the lights. So now let's head down the hall, turn on hallway lights. So there we have the hallway lights that can easily be turned on now. And again, I have the Pico remote here that I can then simply turn those on and off. Now on the Pico remotes, you'll notice that they have this little button. So as what that is, is that allows you to set a favorite position for the brightness. So you just put it at the brightness you want, and then you would hold down the button where you want the brightness to stay. And then it will lock that into the favorite setting. Now these lights, I didn't put the dimmer on the hallway over there, so these aren't able to be dimmed. So next, let's move into the bedroom here. Turn on the lights. So now in the bedroom, it turned on just the fan light. Over here, it turned on the different lamps with the plug-in dimmers, and I was able to do that with one command. Now over here, we do have the Pico remotes. So if I wanna turn off just this lamp, I push the Pico remote down and there the lamp turned off. And then I even have the option to change the brightness level with these plug-in dimmers, which is pretty cool. And it kind of depends on the lights that you have, if they're going to dim or not. So in this room, we also added the new fan control. So you can also talk to your assistant, set the fan to medium speed. and then it turned on, so you have low, medium, and high, and then you also have a peak remote for that as well. So here, if I wanna turn off the fan, just push the down and it's gonna turn off the fan. If I want to change the speed, I can do that right here with the peak remote, and again, it does have that center button. So if I go to the setting I want, hold this down, there you can see it flash. So now if the fan's off, I just push the favorite button and then it will set the fan back to that favorite setting so you don't have to try and figure out which one you like to have as a favorite. So let's go ahead and then move back over here to the light switch and here you can see I have all these controls. So if I turn the fan on, it goes to full brightness. If I go down, it's showing one speed down, another speed down, and the lowest speed and here you can go to that favorite setting right there, or I can simply turn it off. So now let's say it's getting late. Um, one of you have fallen asleep in bed and you don't want to use a voice command to turn off the lamp across the room. So as what you can do is you can have another Pico remote here, and then this Pico remote can be set up to control all of the lights in the room. So now when I push the off on this Pico remote, there you can see it turns off all the lights. So I'm able to do that without having to go into the app or um, go into the Lutron app or the Google Home app and turn them all off at once. I can do that here without using the voice command. So that is a pretty smart bedroom. And then again, you can also do all of this by voice. Turn off the lamp. Turn off floor lamp. Set brightness to 10%. And so there with the plug-in dimmers, you can do just a little bit of brightness on the lamp. I think that's so cool that you are able to do that. Turn off the lights. 
And so that is the power of the Lutron Caseta wireless system. There's really so many things that you can do once you have all the light switches set up. Now I did add one more Pico remote over here. I haven't installed it into the wall, but the cool thing about these and this new little kit is you could essentially put a light switch anywhere you want. You don't need to add any wiring after you've already installed the new switch. You can then put a Pico remote across the room to easily turn on a certain light switch. So one thing we could do is put this here and have it control all of the lights in this room instead of just having the individual controls here. But I thought it would be fun if we made it so it controlled every single light in this house. So all of the lights I set up today and more are actually set up on this peak remote. So I'm gonna walk all the way down here to the end so you guys can see exactly how this works. All right, you can kind of see all the way down there. So I'm going to push the off button and every light in the house is now off, except for one tiny little light back there. I'm going to push on. Now from the hall light all the way down to here, every single light has been turned on. And this is why this system is so cool. And I love how there's only one hub that you need to add. So my brother asked me, hey, I have a light switch on my ceiling. How do I turn that on and off with some smart devices? So we ended up putting in a Caseta smart switch and then we put a Pico remote right next to the other switch. So then you could turn on and off the light switch on the ceiling. So there are so many different things that you are able to do with that. Now we didn't even get to one of the other features where you can actually connect a motion sensor. So there I walked in the room, I didn't touch anything and these lights turned on and that is from this motion sensor right here. And they actually just updated it so you can make it so it only happens at a certain time of the day or in the evening or whenever you want. So that's a really cool feature that has been added. Now, in conclusion, I've used a bunch of different smart lighting system in the home. And I love how this is kind of the all-in-one system. It is able to do pretty much everything you would want it to do. And again, it works with all the different major voice assistants that you would use in your home. And it solves so many problems in a smart home. So all you need to get is the Lutron hub and then you can start adding devices one by one. Now I was able to swap out pretty much every light in this house and when you do that it really makes an impact on how cool this system is but even if you just start with one and uh, start building out your smart home one by one it is able to make a really big impact. I do wanna give a thank you to Lutron for providing many of the products that I talked about today. I ended up going and picking up a bit more so that we could have a full install. But if you have any further questions about how the Caseta wireless lighting system works, please let me know in the comments below. And some of the other cool products that you can connect to the Lutron Hub are Serena Shades. So if you want to add smart shades or you wanna add smart blinds to your home, you are also able to connect those. And I have a video all about these other devices over here on the side, or if you wanna learn how to set up your Caseta wireless hub, you can check out that video over here. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.